so many new followers that I just wanted to say, hey, if you're new here, welcome to Clean Talk. On this side of TikTok, you can find cleaning motivation, organization tips, crazy life hacks, and so much more. Here is where you'll find cleaning schedules to help keep you on track, ways to get organized and stay organized, how to get stains out of just about everything, and even some super cool mom hacks. Three, six, nine girls wanna drink wine. Tell them not to waste your time. The man broke, the man here took, so you gotta get loose with the henny and the coke. Three, two, one girls wanna have fun. If the man don't dance, he's done. Tell him move on, get the man going. Now can I get a coke with my rum? 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 Can I get a can I get a can I get a coke? Don't be fooled that my dressing room looks neat right now because this is the mess to my right. This is the mess to my left part one to my left part two. And we're done. Part two of spring cleaning, AKA ripping my house apart, trying to find a parcel. There's been no organization whatsoever under my kitchen sink at all. So that was very nice to do. It might still look a mess, but it's an organized mess. I just need to get some more baskets. I then sorted out the food cupboard. Food had literally been out of date for like a year and a half. It was so bad, but you know, I'm so glad that it's all organized now and nice and neat, but I'm gonna have to do a part three to this. Is it just me or is it truly shocking how you could spend all day cleaning your house? You could get that place looking absolutely spotless and yet the next day you'd still have to clean it again. And then you just repeat that every single day forever. I am still struggling to get my head around it all to be honest. So if anyone does know of a way that I can just get it to do itself, maybe it could just sort itself out while I'm asleep and then just a few minutes in the morning so that my bed can be made. Oh, and if my food shop could also do itself, that would be absolutely great. Thank you in advance. All help, much appreciated. <laughs> which means I need to clean my house. So I thought we'd start off by doing the kitchen. This is also my first home, so I'm very new to this whole cleaning thing. So any tips are really appreciated. But anyway, I started by cleaning the sink and pouring some flora down the drain. This just makes it smell so good. Then I saw someone use washing up liquid to clean their cooker. So I gave it a go and it was actually pretty good. It was quite hard to get off, but after a few wipes, it did all go. Where my toaster is, there's so many crumbs. So I literally have to take everything off the sides, wipe the sides down, then put everything back. Then I finished off with a quick hoover and a mop and that was it. But anyway, if you want to, definitely follow along for the journey of making this house a home and learning to clean together. <laughs>
tackle the stains on this mattress. Even though I've used a mattress protector, these stains have appeared in the last couple of weeks. So instead of getting upset about it, I'm gonna clean it instead. I'm starting off with the attachment on my carpet cleaner. I sprayed all the stains, I let it sit, and then I used the attachment to get all the liquid up. I then went in with the Dr. Beckman carpet stain remover. I know it's not supposed to be used on mattresses, but I really did want to try and get rid of all the stains because this is a really good quality mattress, believe it or not. So once I scrubbed that in, I went over it again with the carpet cleaning solution. I'm gonna let it dry and see how the stains are after that. It definitely smells fresh now, and this is the best bit. Love it. Your room is so messy that it sickens you to come home to it. Yeah, that was me here and that was me for a very long time. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think these sheets have been changed in a month and there were clothes everywhere and used tissues all over the floor and I honestly couldn't breathe because of all the dust. And I don't have any morals here and I don't have an exciting story to tell you but I just wanna let you know that this is normal and it's normal to have a fucked up room once in a while or every month because that is honestly my life and you shouldn't feel embarrassed about it and i hope that you know this will motivate you to clean it up because you deserve a clean space and look i didn't even manage to finish cleaning my bathroom and it's okay i still think it's a fair effort and you don't have to do everything in one go and this is the final result even though i got back into bed but yeah don't be too harsh on yourself and to all my musty girls clean your fucking room Have you ever left your room it's so messy that it sickens you to come home to it? Yeah, that was me here and that was me for a very long time. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think these sheets have been changed in a month and there were clothes everywhere and used tissues all over the floor and I honestly couldn't breathe because of all the dust. And I don't have any morals here and I don't have an exciting story to tell you but I just wanna let you know that this is normal and it's normal to have a fucked up room once in a while or every month because that is honestly my life and you shouldn't feel embarrassed about it and i hope that you know this will motivate you to clean it up because you deserve a clean space and look i didn't even manage to finish cleaning my bathroom and it's okay i still think it's a fair effort and you don't have to do everything in one go and this is the final result even though i got back into bed but yeah don't be too harsh on yourself and to all my musty girls clean your fucking room my toddler's dad caught what seemed to be a stomach bug so i did what any normal person would do and i banished him from my house however this meant i got stuck with a tiny little tornado of a toddler who i had to entertain for two weeks straight and as you can see, our little apartment got completely neglected. I don't know why, but whenever I see people do deep cleans on TikTok, I always think, fuck it, I'm doing it too. I'm getting up and I'm doing it. So I thought I'd film this because maybe I'll be someone else's motivation today. Anyway, I got stuck into the kitchen because that's my least favorite. It never takes as long as you think it does. I don't know why. After the kitchen, I moved on to the little dining area. Honestly, I don't know what's going on here. Don't ask. And I'm going to have to ask you to excuse the dogs throughout this video. This is the little front door dump. I then started on the lounge room, which for some reason I seem to be cleaning 24 fucking 7. The table's always covered in cocoa pops and the floor's always covered in cheese. By the way, I'm saving the floors for last. Don't look under the couch! I ran out of time to do the other rooms, but let me know if you want to see a part two. Bye!
it's time to vacuum every single inch of my flat because it's been so long since I got behind all the doors, in the corners, on those dust loving skirting boards. And I just got a new vacuum. So obviously I wanna see what this baby can do. I'm using the Shark Cordless Detect Pro and it's like something straight out of the future. It's got edge detect, so it can sense when it's next to an edge and doubles up its suction power. So nothing is ever left behind. It's also got light detect. So when it's in low light areas, it will always illuminate the dirt. Oh, and it also powers up when it can sense more dirt. You can literally hear how powerful it is. Another thing that is really cool is that it knows what type of floor it's on. So it adjusts its settings depending on whether it's on carpet or hard floors. And it has up to 60 minutes running time. So that is the perfect amount of time for me to vacuum every inch of my flat. But I haven't even shown you the coolest part. If you're like me and you hate emptying your vacuum, it has a self-emptying feature. So instead of messing around, pulling your vacuum apart all the time, you just need to empty the base every 45 days. So I am pure panic cleaning right now because I've got someone coming round to see if they can fit an integrated dishwasher and washing machine. They are not going to be bothered in the slightest if my house is clean or not, but my mind tells me otherwise. I even changed the dish mat sponge. So yeah, I'm scrubbing this downstairs like there's no tomorrow. This fridge had one finger mark on it and I still had to scrub the full thing. And of course, emptying this smelly ass bin. Dettol disinfectant spray is a lifesaver. Did I need to clean these cupboards? No, I didn't. But you really can't beat a fresh kitchen drenched in Sephora. Oh, and here's a clip of me dancing with the washing machine, trying to get it out. Luckily, I did this the other day, so it's not too bad. So I'm not happy with the marks it left on the floor. I am so happy to be saying bye to this machine. Well, that's if they can change it. Fingers crossed. Onto the lounge. Dog hairs, be gone. Okay, let's see how many empty water bottles Tom has dumped today. Oh, there's one and two. This unit is giving dusty. Some advice if you're planning on buying a new build, don't buy black furniture because the dust will drive you insane. Finish with a good mop and some smellies, and we are done. It's fucking time to clean this depression room. It started to smell six months ago, lol. You haven't cleaned it in over a year. I can't believe I live like this. Depression is real. The carpet is so stained, OMG. The bathroom was arguably the worst. Wipe, wipe. I am kind of a hoarder, lol. Room, room. Do all much better. Trash. Trash. Donation. If you're anything like me and absolutely hate the after dinner cleanup, then this is your motivation. Go and get it done. You can thank me later when you've got a nice clean space to wake up to in the morning. Anyway, we had spaghetti bolognese for dinner tonight, so that's me just done the dishes and cleaning the oven there. I am using my shark handheld hoover for the crumbs. Absolute game changer, by the way. My cleaning combo tonight was the pink stuff paste and the multi-purpose spray. Me also just having a tantrum because I realised I missed a dish to wash. How annoying. Anyone spot all these little toes at the dining table when I was wiping it. I then got the good old shark out for a hoover and used pink stuff floor cleaning spray. At some point today, Cooper managed to get his hands on an eraser daddy, RIP. So yeah, I had to give that all a hoover as well. It was absolutely everywhere. Then I had to deal with this pile of clean washing that's been sat on my sofa that I have been avoiding all day. So yeah, put that away, then gave the couch a quick vacuum and febrezed it. The end is now near, so I just picked up all this crap that was lying around, put the dry clean washing away and then gave this area a hoover as well and finished off with a wax melt.
If you've got a space that needs work, but you don't have the energy to do all of it, try something with me. First, we're going to banish the thoughts that make us feel guilty. Mess happens, it's not a big deal. Then pick a specific area that's not going to stress you out to clean. You're going to put everything that doesn't belong in this room into a box or basket, toss any trash, and put everything back the way you want it. When I'm dealing with a messy space, usually the thing stressing me out the most is all the stuff that does not belong in that space. So if you have the ability to put those things away, great. If not, just leave them in a basket. We'll get back to that later. I like to monthly sanitize the often touch spaces, but this is really coming in on time because my kids have been sick running a fever. So now that they're better, I am cleaning all of the often touch surfaces. As you can see, my room is not back in order, but it looks a lot better. If I'd have tried to guilt myself into cleaning the entire room, I probably would have done nothing. But because I gave myself permission to do a few specific things, I was able to check stuff off my list and move on. Let's clean the living daylights out of my flat before I go on holiday. Honestly, there's nothing like knowing you've got a flight to catch to make you clean like an absolute mad woman. Okay, these flowers woke up and chose violence. I think they're trying to get me back for not changing their water. Not only did this smell like Shrek's swamp, but we actually ended up having a bit of a scrap off camera and most of the petals ended up on the floor. I don't know how the hell it happened, but while they might have won the battle, I will win the war. We're hoovering it right up. Shark boy, you show them who's boss. With that slight mishap behind me, I can finally get into the holiday spirit of things. But first, cleaning the flat within an inch of its life is like a rite of passage before you go away. There's just something about when you come home and everything's fresh. Surf disinfectant always, but especially after that swamp water situation. And I'm releasing the creases from my bedding. Honestly, don't know why I'm bothering with the hoover lines when I still need to get all my clothes out of that wardrobe to pack. One thing about me, I will always leave packing to the last minute, but I will find time to disinfect my sofa. I should probably get my priorities straight, but whatever helps me sleep at night, you know? Now I'm just going to use the cloth to clean literally anything and everything. Oh, this little shuffle is a new one. Thinking about the flowers while I karate chop the pillows. Whoa, things are moving quickly now. We are mopping the floors. To be honest, stuff like that's a good enough job. Yeah, so dusty behind you as well. I have no idea how. Gave all that a good hoover. And then I just started putting everything back and already it was just so much better. Once I was finished, this is what I was left with, the stuff to get rid of. I will be putting loads on my vintage, taking some to the charity shop and some of it is just ready for the bin. Do you want to see a really fluffy dog in the microwave? Then stop scrolling. And I'm, I'm joking, but I hope I got your attention. This house, me and Beck are working our way through. I have made a playlist in my on my tiktok so you guys can watch from the very beginning till now of how much we have improved this place we normally do two hours on a tuesday but this week they want four hours so i'm hoping we get to go upstairs for the first time and give it a really good clean as we haven't been upstairs to clean yet we have just been doing downstairs one of my most asked questions on this house is do they know i'm tiktoking we have full consent um she really isn't bothered what we do and she's just happy it's getting cleaned and yeah she really doesn't care about it being on tiktok but whilst i'm on this subject also this is someone's house so please be mindful about what you put in the comments um some of the comments are really not nice and it, 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 they've done the right thing by reaching out and getting help and trying to get a cleaner so i really don't think someone should be knocked for that but anyway hit that follow up button and follow along on getting this house back up to scratch because i bloody love it do you want to see a really fluffy dog in the microwave then stop scrolling and I'm, ho I'm joking, but I hope I got your attention. This house, me and Beck are working our way through. I have made a playlist in my on my TikTok so you guys can watch from the very beginning till now of how much we have improved this place. We normally do two hours on a Tuesday, but this week they want four hours. So I'm hoping we get to go upstairs for the first time and give it a really good clean as we haven't been upstairs to clean yet. We have just been doing downstairs. One of my most asked questions on this house is, do they know I'm TikToking? We have full consent. Um, she really isn't bothered what we do and she's just happy it's getting cleaned. And yeah, she really doesn't care about it being on TikTok. But whilst I'm on this subject, also this is someone's house. So please be mindful about what you put in the comments. Um, some of the comments are really not nice and it, 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 they've done the right thing by reaching out and getting help and trying to get a cleaner so 
I really don't think someone should be knocked for that. But anyway, hit that follow up button and follow along on getting this house back up to scratch. Because I bloody love it. There are four things that I do on a Sunday, which almost guarantee that I'm going to have a good week ahead. First is I get a food shop delivered. I can't even tell you, if I don't get a food shop, it honestly throws off my week so much. The next thing that I do is I clean the house. Now, I don't necessarily always do a massive clean, but I always tidy all the shit up that I've left from the weekend. I'm actually a really messy person. So by the end of the week, there is mess everywhere. I was actually planning on cleaning the sofa today, but Dudley was laying on it. So what could I do? My hands were tied. I feel like my kitchen floors are constantly muddy at the moment. Partly because the weather has been rubbish and Dudley obviously comes in from the garden and brings all the grass in and because Sam has been building a garden bar. Now the next thing I do is I meal prep and then I spill it all everywhere. By some miracle it actually didn't go on the floor which is lucky because I have just vacuumed. So I meal prep my lunch and breakfast for the days that I'm in the office. I actually hate buying lunch when I'm in the office unless it's Farmer Jays. If you know you know Farmer Jays is just a leap. And then the last thing I do is something for myself because I feel like all of that is like life admin which is actually quite boring. So this morning I went for a long run and then we took Dudley for a walk. We practiced him being off lead. It was okay he did all right you still have a lot of work to do but that is how i like to try to set myself up for a good week ahead Got the house to myself tonight, so I'm doing a one hour speed clean whilst my Chinese is en route. Switched into pages, of course, because I ain't cleaning in no cargo. Tonight there was a record breaking four cups and bottles in the boys' room tonight, so I removed them, washed them, and then wiped down the cooker and the sink. This ain't a deep clean, so don't come at me tonight if I'm missing any spots. Although I will say, whilst my dental was marinating on the table, I noticed that they blind handles or really dirty, so I gave them a good scrub. Then gave the floor a good hoover. Ollie had been playing with Connect Sand in here earlier, so it was honestly like the beach. Now, this is the dog's corner of the sofa. That is why there's always multiple blankets piled up in this area to save my couch from getting dirty. A lot of you ask how I managed to keep this sofa clean with kids and a dog. I honestly don't. I just managed to hide the stains well. It is really difficult to keep clean. On a serious note though, a good upholstery cleaner is always on hand for any accidents. On to the never ends and pile of washing. I actually never got around to folding and putting away the clean washing tonight but never mind. There was me just minding my own business doing the perfect hoover lines and my hoover decided to die on me. Quick battery change and we're all good. Finally caved and got the boys one of those TikTok shop lights that everyone has and I'm kind of jealous. I want one for morning room. Not me taking the Chinese delivery and whilst I've got a tripod set up watching my hoover. Also disclaimer that is not a prong cracker I gave the dog it is in fact a pig snout. Got the house to myself tonight so I'm doing a one hour speed clean whilst my Chinese is en route. Switched into pages of course because I ain't cleaning in no cargo. Tonight there was a record breaking four cups and bottles in the boys room tonight so I removed them, washed them and then wiped down the cooker and the sink. This ain't a deep clean so don't come at me tonight if I'm missing any spots although I will say whilst my dental was marinating on the table I noticed that they blind handles or really dirty so I gave them a good scrub. Then gave the floor a good hoover. Ollie had been playing with Connect Sand in here earlier so it was honestly like the beach. Now this is the dog's corner of the sofa that is why there's there's always multiple blankets piled up in this area to save my couch from getting dirty. A lot of you ask how I managed to keep this sofa clean with kids and a dog. I honestly don't. I just managed to hide the stains well. It is really difficult to keep clean. On a serious note though, a good upholstery cleaner is always on hand for any accidents. On to the never ends and pile of washing. I actually never got around to folding and putting away the clean washing tonight, but never mind. There was me just minding my own business, doing the perfect hoover lines and my hoover decided to die on me. Quick battery change and we're all good. Finally caved and got the boys one of those TikTok shop lights that everyone has and I'm kind of jealous. I want one for morning room. Not me taking the Chinese delivery and whilst I've got a tripod set up watching my hoover. Also disclaimer that is not a prong cracker I gave the dog it is in fact a pig snout.
got the house to myself tonight, so I'm doing a one hour speed clean whilst my Chinese is en route. Switched into pages, of course, because I ain't cleaning in no cargoes. Tonight there was a record breaking four cups and bottles in the boys' room tonight, so I removed them, washed them, and then wiped down the cooker and the sink. This ain't a deep clean, so don't come at me tonight if I'm missing any spots. Although I will say, whilst my dental was marinating on the table, I noticed that they blind handles or really dirty, so I gave them a good scrub. Then gave the floor a good hoover. Ollie had been playing with Connect Sand in here earlier, so it was honestly like the beach. Now, this is the dog's corner of the sofa. That is why there's always multiple blankets piled up in this area to save my couch from getting dirty. A lot of you ask how I managed to keep this sofa clean with kids and a dog. I honestly don't. I just managed to hide the stains well. It is really difficult to keep clean. On a serious note though, a good upholstery cleaner is always on hand for any accidents. On to the never ending pile of washing. I actually never got around to folding and putting away the clean washing tonight, but never mind. There was me just minding my own business, doing the perfect hoover lines and my hoover decided to die on me. Quick battery change and we're all good. Finally caved and got the boys one of those TikTok shop lights that everyone has and I'm kind of jealous. I want one from morning room. Not me taking the Chinese delivery and whilst I've got a tripod set up watching my hoover. Also, disclaimer, that is not a prong cracker I gave the dog. It is, in fact, a pig snout. There's no better way to start the weekend than with a little spring clean, so that's exactly what we're going to do. But first, I need to be honest, I'm actually just regular cleaning. I just think it instantly sounds more fun if I put the word spring in front of it. So we've got to do what we've got to do to make cleaning fun. Now, I can only apologise for my big fat head ruining this amazing sink clean content, but thank you to the person who recommended Jif for the sink. Can you see the moment I realised, shit, I ruined this whole clip with my head? Honestly, feels like cheating using Zaflora disinfectant and not surf in my sink, but I'm just going for spring scents today, and Zaflora is pretty good for that. I feel like my wife technique is kind of giving aggression bed rolls are back baby before anyone comments both of those black things were remotes i swear very nearly took myself out with my own pillow i don't think anyone is keeping tabs but if you are you might have noticed that this bedding has been on for slightly longer than what's considered acceptable so giving the bedding a much needed wash today does anyone else feel like they have to stack the pillows nicely on the bed while they wait for their washed bedding jump scare welcome to my unesthetic utility room and i'm calling it a utility room and not a cupboard because i am delusional bedding on the go let's tackle this crime scene aka my window ledge turned beauty station I turned this candle into a holder for my hair stuff, but if you can think of a better use for it, let me know because I refuse to throw it away. No comment on my makeup not being immediately put back in the bag. Lastly, I'm just going to give the place a hoover everywhere and then I'm going to move on to some unnecessarily aggressive mopping. And that is all we have time for, folks. Tune in next week for some real spring cleaning.
video was filmed on Sunday and was meant to go up on Sunday, and now it's Tuesday, but never mind, we're going to still post so it. So I've just done some random cleaning tasks that were really needing done. Um, this mirror was giving me the ick every time I went past it. It was absolutely gross with us. I soon realised I'd used way too much dish soap, though. You'll see all the streaks when I'm trying to use my window back. I've never had any issues with a window back before, but it just wasn't working because of how much soap I'd used. So we're sticking to what I know best, which is the Pink Stuff Glass Cleaner. So I just sprayed some of that and used my green minky cloth, and it was looking good as new. Next, this corner of my hall is most definitely neglected. I couldn't tell you the last time I cleaned that radiator cover. I'm also going to ignore the fact that my print actually says hello winter. That has literally been sat on that radiator cover for around two years. Technically it's still winter anyway but I basically use that print to cover that red shower switch as it sticks out like a sore thumb and I bloody hate it. Sticking on a wax melt so I'm using EXO Wax Coat as always and this is a Prada dupe as well. It smells so good. Then finished the haul by giving it a hoover. Now this isn't a neglected job. I literally do this like three times a day in this area because of how often people are walking through it and with the dog of course. Speaking of the dog it's time to get his mattress from the bottom of his crate in the wash. Now his actual bed and his blankets get washed regularly but this mattress does get neglected. I tend to just vacuum it as a go because it lies underneath his bed. So we're washing it on a 90 alongside some vermouche pet hair dissolver. This stuff is like magic. It literally just melts the dog Once hair. Once on his bed, I decided that I was going to freshen up my washing machine. And my washing machine is only two weeks old, but I'm starting as I mean to go and I'm keeping on top of the cleaning regularly. This new area washing machine cleaner is in the scent Spring Awakening, which is my absolute fave and it leaves it smelling nice and fresh. Absolutely stunning houses that look like this may seem spotless on the surface. They may seem like you could not fault a single thing. But then we arrive, and we get under the surface and into the nitty gritty of things. So come with me today as I do a nice big deep clean of this three story home. I started off in the shower slash steam room and got stuck right into the drainage. It definitely needed it, I'm not sure when the last time this was done, but I'm so happy with the result. I scrubbed my arms off and I got right into the tiles, I got into the shelving and then I even got up and I did the roof and the walls. I'm a tall gal so I was also able to reach the shower head too. And before you get your knickers in a knot about me wearing socks, the shower floor was not wet yet. Relax. So that was the steam room all done, shining, sparkling, gorgeous, perfect. Then I'm moving on to this beautiful sink. I really love this industrial sort of cement look. I don't know what it is, but I love it. However, it did collect a lot of mold. So I got stuck into that, gave everything a good scrub and then I popped it back on. Everything also smelled so much fresher after this. It definitely needed a good refresh. That's when it's finished. And then I moved on to the upstairs bedroom. This is a three story home, so it is gonna take me all day. So I'm just putting all the fresh bedding on. I put the old bedding in the wash and it's waiting to go into the dryer. I'm not sure why, but this room was full of hair. So after the bed was made, I made sure I got into all of the nooks and crannies, all of the little corners, and I got all of the hair and dust that was built up. And let me know if you want to see me do the rest of the house. Bye! I am not sorry, but do you realize how many people struggle to just make it through the day, let alone clean their house? If you only knew how many people struggle with endless cycles of no motivation, procrastination, avoidance, disassociation, they feel so overwhelmed by all of the tasks on their plate that they end up unable to focus on anything at all, and all they can do is worry about not getting those tasks done. Some people may experience sudden bursts of energy where they get the urge to clean their entire home, but typically burn out halfway through and disassociate because they start one task before finishing it, they quickly remember another task that they forgot. This just causes over overwhelmed because nothing is actually reaching completion. These cycles are caused from so many different factors, including ADHD, depression, anxiety, and I'm just here to reassure people that they're not alone. This is a taboo subject and it's exactly why I've spent the last three years on here, sharing as much information as I can, trying to help people incorporate smaller, more manageable tasks that turn into habits, show people how to work with their impulses and not against them, so they can lessen that fight or flight mode they're currently stuck because in. Because doing this not only puts my psychology background to good use, but this is also coming from personal experience. I spent most of my life struggling with my ADHD. ADHD, depression, and anxiety. So I've been stuck in those cycles. Which is why I try to help people by teaching them everything I learned between university and in real life experience. But also with the hopes that I can get folks like you to be less judgmental. So to those like you who have the privilege of never experiencing poor mental health that causes a lack of motivation, please remember we're all human and clearly people are out here struggling. So instead of trying to put people down further, maybe find a more creative outlet for your frustrations. <laughs>
So I've stripped the bed off and I'm going to put all fresh on. I'm changing the whole trailer around. I'm going to go grey in here. So as you can see, I've put all the old in here and I'm doing all the new now, like doing the pillows and going to get the mats out. I've got new mats I'm going to put down. Got my little combs on. New bed in. So these are what the pillows is. These ones. Right, so the rest of the video is going to be a voiceover, so enjoy. So today I got this Spanish cleaning stuff and this one is called Shan's Gypsy Surprise. So the ladies that sell this, they pick out some stuff and they just put every, like, anything in it. And I've never had like any problem with it, it's always been like really nice stuff. I don't know why I look like this. God, why did you bless me to have an ugly potato shaped body? And for you that's all listening, please love the music, appreciate the music. That is what makes me keep going cleaning. Always, always use hot scalding water. And yes, I do mix it with a bit of cold water. And no, we do not use the sinks or the bathroom in our trailers just because, you know, like obviously we eat in here, we sleep in here. We ain't going to like shit and sleep at the same place. You know what I mean? So I'm fluffing up all the pillows and I spray like stuff on it as well before like I put the covers on and stuff. Monday and I'm in the mood to clean the living daylights out of my flat. Oh, hang on a minute. I was just staring at my dishwasher, very confused because I obviously hadn't put it on last night as I thought I did. So it is on now. We're going to have to circle back to that. But for now, let's focus on some more important things like putting some absolutely stunning sofa lines in my sofa. The universe really shifted the first time I did this and nothing has been the same ever since. Somewhere along the way, I've ended up in a pair of Crocs in sport mode. So that's when you know you mean business. And I am getting around to cleaning the window that I didn't manage to do the other day because my tree was in the way and I was too lazy to move it. Also, I feel like I just want to address my nude top. I feel like in some lights it's low-key looking like I'm not wearing a top and that is just not the content creation that I'm into. Although nothing but respect for all of the content creators. Anyway, it's coming to the end of the road with me and this Dettol spray, but it has served me well. Also, people love to compliment my table, but I'm telling you, it marks so easily. The old clickeroo comes out when I can't be bothered to edit loads of footage and the bedroom is looking gorgeous. Crawling under my tripod to get to my washing machine. Oh, time to back it up. <laughs> could really do with a reversing camera to be honest anyway washing is drying and the dishwasher is done so i am back the only annoying thing about these slimline dishwashers is if you have anyone over you just cannot fit a full load in it so here i am erasing the evidence of having some family over yesterday and we are wiping down the sides not forgetting to fill my sink with some disinfectant and then i just put my like spongy things in there because it disinfects them plus it just makes the whole room smell beautiful oh my god i'm so excited tonight i'm gonna read the silent patient and so many people have said it's amazing so i'm buzzing i'm thinking if i start early enough i might be able to bosh it all out in one go anyway i'm cleaning my mirror I haven't done that in ages. Back to the hob. It was basically clean, but I could see burn marks and I want to be able to sleep tonight. A little mop and we're done. Every Wednesday I set a one hour timer and I see how much I can get done around the flat in that time. It is a lifestyle at this point. But giving myself one little baby hour in the middle of the week where I just get on with it and I'm not allowed to procrastinate has honestly made my life so much better. For one, I do very much see this as an Olympic sport and every week I'm trying to beat my personal best. Okay, I'll admit, breaking one of my favourite straws while aggressively unloading the dishwasher was not my best work. But you win some, you lose some. Reloading the dishwasher with a smidge less aggression. And now a task I cannot put off any longer. My fridge absolutely hum ding a -lings. Taking out what I think are the offending areas and washing them properly in the sink. Ooh, that is definitely dried up milk on there. No wonder the stench has been sending me west every time I look for a snack. I'd normally edit this really smoothly, but just know those shelves are getting banged left, right and centre when you're trying to take them out. Also, I'm lazy cleaning the rest of the shelves because I'm just not in the mood for a shower trying to do them in the sink. Fridge clean done in record time that is something i'd normally make a way bigger deal about probably give it its own video but do you know what i just couldn't be asked just wanted to get it done as quickly as possible and it's inspired me i think every week i'm going to try and include one of those cleaning jobs that you always put off but in reality it doesn't even take that long well 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 here we go again time to clean my sofa and i've not actually done it with surf disinfectant for a while somebody asked me to try a different pattern so i've tried to go for like a checkered vibe and i'm just going to tell you now i don't like it I don't like it at all. But we're against the clock and there are no time for redos, so we're gonna have to live with it. Luckily, it will only be there until I decide to plonk my ass on it. And my ass is drawn to that sofa like a moth to a flame, so we shall not be waiting long. Oh, whose idea was it to put the timer over there and then mop? Risking a bin run with a mere five minutes to go, but I'm back and we've still got two minutes. Time's up, goodbye. Every Wednesday I set a one hour timer and I see how much I can get done around the flat in that time. It is a lifestyle at this point. But giving myself one little baby hour in the middle of the week where I just get on with it and I'm not allowed to procrastinate has honestly made my life so much better. For one, I do very much see this as an Olympic sport and every week I'm trying to beat my personal best.
Okay, I'll admit, breaking one of my favourite straws while aggressively unloading the dishwasher was not my best work. But you win some, you lose some. Reloading the dishwasher with a smidge less aggression. And now a task I cannot put off any longer. My fridge absolutely hum ding a -lings. Taking out what I think are the offending areas and washing them properly in the sink. Ooh, that is definitely dried up milk on there. No wonder the stench has been sending me west every time I look for a snack. I'd normally edit this really smoothly, but just know those shelves are getting banged left, right and centre when you're trying to take them out. Also, I'm lazy cleaning the rest of the shelves because I'm just not in the mood for a shower trying to do them in the sink. Fridge clean done in record time. That is something I'd normally make a way bigger deal about, probably give it its own video, but do you know what? I just couldn't be asked. Just wanted to get it done as quickly as possible. And it's inspired me. I think every week I'm going to try and include one of those cleaning jobs that you always put off, but in reality, it doesn't even take that long. Well, 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 here we go again. Time to clean my sofa and I've not actually done it with surf disinfectant for a while. Somebody asked me to try a different pattern, so I've tried to go for like a checkered vibe and I'm just going to tell you now, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But we're against the clock and there are no time for redos, so we're going to have to live with it. Luckily, it will only be there until I decide to plonk my ass on it. And my ass is drawn to that sofa like a moth to a flame, so we shall not be waiting long. Oh, whose idea was it to put the timer over there and then mop? Risking a bin run with a mere five minutes to go, but I'm back and we've still got two minutes. Time's up, goodbye. It is time for a hungover post girls night reset and there is not one bone in my body that wants to be doing this cleaning right now. But all of this mess and stuff scattered everywhere is overstimulating my brain and sending me west. Therefore, I think spending a little half an hour cleaning is the lesser of two evils right now. Sticking decorations up with sellotape is always a good idea until you can't get it off afterwards. Oh, little snack. I will be returning to these leftovers throughout the day to keep me going. Things are already looking up around here and I feel like I can breathe again. Although I must say, I'm hanging up my hosting hat for the time being. It's just a lot of effort, you know? So you can find me around my friends' houses for the foreseeable. Love how I spent ages mopping my floor before everyone came just for it to get messy again i'm now mopping it a day later also one out of ten do not recommend decorating with feather boas because the feathers get everywhere although i did put them in a little bag and i'm going to save them for future use because you just never know when you're going to need a feather boa again i'd be lying if i said i'm not going to miss this disco entrance to my bathroom it's giving glitter box rave in the loo love to just wear the things i find to save me finding somewhere to put them away look away now if you have a phobia of balloon popping i have got to admire that last one's determination to survive she is officially my inspiration to find the will to go on right now i have got some whole footprints in my sofa Far, just trying to get them out with my ass. I must have had a drink. The fact that I let someone put their dusty, crusty foot on my sofa. Oh, wait, maybe that was me. I got all of these games out just for us to decide that Uno was the superior game. But is it just me or is drunk Uno just so good? And all the random things I'm storing under my sofa. So annoying. I'd hidden my Hoover out of the way, not charging, so it's died on me. Which can only mean one thing. Hello, darkness, my old friend. The corded Hoover is coming out. I will never be getting rid of this thing. A plug in Hoover is just like that mate that's there for you, no matter how much time has passed. And just like that, it's like the radio never happened. But long live cowgirls. Now I need to go to bed. Goodbye. Absolutely nothing will make you clean faster than somebody calling you and letting you know they're going to pop round in the next 15 minutes. So right now we are speed cleaning. My boyfriend's sister is hopping round. She needs to drop something off, but she's also going to bring me lunch. So we absolutely love her for that. But I want this place to look clean because there is nothing more embarrassing than when people come round and it's a mess when I literally clean on the internet. I just couldn't live with the shame. Anyway, I was going to do the sofa lines, but she called me and said she was literally downstairs. So this is about as far as we can go for now. Her first comment was how nice it smells. And she also said it looked clean. So mission accomplished. Now we're eating our lunch. We had a sandwich and a donut. Now I'm hoovering up the mess she made and trying to get her to take a hint. Woo, legs up. We had a brief fight over who was going to keep the donuts. I actually really wanted them out of my life, so I convinced her to take them and then I chased her out with the hoover. And now I can get back to some serious cleaning. Thank God she didn't need a wee because it's definitely seen better days in here. But it's fine. We're going to hop straight on it. Oh, does anyone find it just the worst job cleaning out the toothbrush holder? Why does it get disgusted in like a week? And we are moving onto the sink, giving it a little bit of extra love today because I feel like it's been a while since I've done a proper clean in here. There's only one thing for it. A little bit of surf in the sink. It's just the cherry on top. It disinfects and it just smells so nice. This is the coconut one. I've been getting loads of questions about this mirror contraption. It's basically a window vac. Mine's from the jumble sales section in Aldi, but if you Google window vac, there's loads of options. Damn, I'm down to only one reserved toilet roll. Definitely need to restock because normally I hide a few behind the towels because nobody wants to get caught short in that department. Anyway, shower screen clean and we are moving onto the floors. Now I'm just going to give the place a final little hoover. Just need to wipe the sift off the burn mark it was soaking on and we're done. <laughs> I'm committed to setting a one hour time limit every single Wednesday and sprinting around my flat like a mad woman getting as much clean as I can. Wash load on, now it's time for this shit pile to be gone. Can you believe this all fits under my bed? Setting my watch to a workout because I'm already sweating my tits off within four minutes. Oh crap. I don't have time for this today. The clock is a ticking right under my bed, loading in the things that I just can't let go of. Also, I promise you, I'm not trying to be a dick on purpose and deliberately not showing you my bedroom. Well, I kind of am. It's just that we've got a few little finishing touches to put in there, like that mirror, some new lights, and then we will be back in business. Anywho, you can't really see, but there was all like candle wax 
knickknacks and stuff over my table. So giving that a really good clean and then a little hoover of the rug and we are in the living area. Right, it might seem a bit excessive going this hard on my sofa given that I've only got half an hour left, but I genuinely think I could be down to my last minute on earth. And this is exactly how I would spend it. Why deny myself something that makes me so happy? And moving on to the kitchen, pretty sure I'm just gonna be moving that mirror around until someone kindly puts it up for me. Totally forgot I was filming this for attention on the internet and let my big fat head get in the way pretty much the whole time I was cleaning the sink, but just now I did a really good job. And I am wiping down the sides. It's not my first rodeo doing this today and it will not be my last. There are two types of people in this world, those who dry their bed sheets on the door and those who don't. To be honest, there's clean washing all over the gaff today and we've still got another load in. It just does not end. But this towel row, it is a godsend. I can get a whole load of washing on there. Poor towels are just gonna have to stay hanging up in the glass for now. We are down to the last five minutes, so I'm just gonna spend it going balls to the wall with the hoover. No prizes for guessing where I'm going next. To be honest, I could just spend the next two minutes shoving it in and out of this gap and I would be very happy. I blame the gap for the fact that the timer actually beat me today and I couldn't hear that it ended because all I could hear was my hoover. And my rings are closed, goodbye. Let's have a cleaning power hour because I always put off doing things because I think they're going to take forever. So this will be a fun experiment to see how much I can get done. Hun, in what universe do you think you're going to pick all of that up at once? This pile of clean washing is just a perfect example of how I like to put things off. It would have taken me two seconds if I'd have just put the loads away as they were ready. At least they're away now and hopefully I have learned my lesson. We are moving on to the vacuuming. Little spritzer for Breeze and we are officially done in the bedroom. Welcome to my utility room. It's definitely not a cupboard, it's a room, okay? Oh, swerve, get me in the new Matrix movie. Did you see how I narrowly avoided that hit in my face? Anyway, not sure how I have even more washing to take out after that ginormous pile to put away in my bedroom but yep there's always more welcome to my own personal laundrette aka my bathroom I've taken to drying things in here because it's the only room that gets warm enough at the moment also i'm gonna invest in a dehumidifier i definitely pictured covering my face with the laundry basket looking way more subtle in my head but back to the dehumidifier can you please send me what the best one is because some of them are like 300 quid so i just want to know what the dehumidifier to end all dehumidifiers is and i'm just going to get that one as long as it's not absolutely massive because i know you saw me struggling in that utility room as it is i once received a single comment asking how I keep my sink white so I just want to let everybody know that sif is the answer and now I'm just going to let a little bit of surf soak in the sink just for the smell and also disinfecting the sink and my scrub daddy what is going on now we are wiping down the sides which honestly aren't too bad the kitchen was not bad at all candle for the vibes and we are vacuuming shoes another thing that I struggle with just putting away I'm sure anyone else who lives in a flat will understand the struggle of finding places to keep your shoes love my boots but where the hell am I supposed to keep them very quick little fluff up in the living area because I'm only going to go and sit and fester there anyway and we are done coming in at 55 minutes What to do on a deep clean? Prepare your water and spray everything. So the product can start working before you scrub. Then dust from top to bottom, including the mirrors. Work your way down. Don't forget the top of the door and the door knob. Time for scrubbing. Dry good to shine. Wash mirror with soap and water. Then dry to shine. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Remove any paint. Try to make everything look new. Dry good to not leave any water marks. Clean baseboards and remove any paint. Lastly, the toilet. Always use a disposable brush. I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching. Right, just come home from a weekend away. I've come in the place, I've emptied, oh, there's something sticking in my bed, I've just emptied the bags, put away my clothes, still got to put away all of Henry's clothes, um, put the bags in the shed, etc, etc. Why do I then think to myself, do you know what I'm going to do this week? I'm going to gut the whole caravan, I'm going to take one room by one, and I'm going to scrub top to bottom, and organise all the cupboards and all the drawers. Does anyone else come home from being away and think that? Or is it just me? Because it's every fucking time. I've, I clean before I go away. And then I come back. And then I scrub. Sorry. 
scrub the place to death. So that's what I'm going to do. Take out every cupboard, every drawer, everything. Organise it. Put it away. Yay. Um, but I'm not going to do it till tomorrow because Henry will go to nursery in the morning. Then it will give me like two and a bit hours to scrub everything. Organise everything. Does anyone else do this or is it just me? Does anyone else have that feeling? When they go away and come back again, they need to like organise and sort out their whole life. Also, should I do a clean with me again? Because it's been a long time since you guys watched me do all my cleaning and that. I share my weekly cleaning routine here all the time. So these are the eight cleaning related things that I do daily to keep our home in order in between those cleans. Number one, making the bed. They say you're more likely to be a millionaire if you make the bed every day. It's a small task that takes almost no time at all and it starts your day off on the right foot because you feel like you've already accomplished something and your whole room will feel a lot cleaner. Number two, I wipe down our most used bathroom every day. I used to think that people who did this were crazy, but then I became a mom to three boys and if you stop over at my house on a day where I didn't do this, you would think you were at a frat party. It only takes me about a minute to do. I just wipe down the toilet. After that, I wipe down the sink and I clean up any messes that are on the floor. Number three, I unload the dishwasher as early as possible. This allows me to put all our dirty dishes in throughout the day and keep our sink clear. Number four, I do one load of laundry a day to completion. This is washing, drying, folding, and putting away. Then, moving on to the afternoon, number five, I set a 15-minute timer and I clean up the morning mess. I just clean up the kitchen and the family room. Whenever I don't do this, my nightly cleanup is a nightmare. Moving on to the evening, number six, obviously I clean up all of our dinner mess. Number seven, once that is done, I wipe down our countertops. And number eight, I scrub out our sink. This is a routine I picked up about two years ago when I started following the Fly Lady method. She has an app where you can check stuff off and my brain just loves to accomplish tasks and check things off. Of course, I'm not perfect about this every single day, but our home feels so much better when I do get it all done. What is something that you do in your home daily that's been a game changer for you? I would love to hear about it. I hope you have an amazing day and I hope that something really good happens to you today. Happy Monday one and all. Welcome to a post-travel pre-birthday reset. I could not decide how to intro this video because it is both of those things. It's my birthday tomorrow and contrary to popular belief, cleaning is not my favourite thing in the world. Therefore, I must get it all done today so that I don't have to lift a finger tomorrow. Hiya. Thanks for Posty coming through right on time with another parcel. By the way, all those Amazon parcels are bits I've ordered for my birthday girls night. I don't just have an Amazon addiction. Also, thank you, Scrub Daddy. You know the way to my heart. I'm gonna keep that pink one for obvious reasons, but if you want the other two, comment saying Easter Bunny and I'm gonna send it to the first comment I Anywho, see. Anywho, back to the cleaning. This cupboard above my hob is so random, right? But I've recently realized my Stanley's fit in there perfectly. My mum has kindly agreed to home these paints until I need them again. And also that whole pile by the door is just stuff that is patiently queuing to get the fuck out of my life. Anyone who lives in a one bed flat will understand having to ask family members to just look after your stuff until you need it again my travel makeup back to my catfish case right don't be alarmed by the lack of hoover lines going on here because we are not done here right carpet update it looks absolutely fine but the stench of vinegar was sending me west last night so basically i've given it a little steam mop and then sprayed with my favorite unstoppables for breeze so number one came out number two went in and how stunningly is that stacked on my radiator while i'm here bathroom needs attention i normally just buy refill pouches of soap but my dad bought me that soap for christmas so it's going in unpacking my toiletries i could really do with giving my skincare cabinet a proper clean and reorganized but i just can't be asked today is not the day bathroom looking gorgeous right time for a bin run and there may have been another parcel ditched in the entrance of the flat for me it really is a hard knock life all these wash loads i've got to get through today oh color catcher pack it a monster munch while i edit this video see you when i'm older bye i've been so busy with the projects around the house and everywhere is just a mess and now i need to prep the front room because i'm ready to buy my furniture here i am freaking out because i heard something drop upon my inspection it was my favorite bars I've been buying and buying and buying, so I have so many boxes that need to be recycled. And my recycling bins are full, so I had to literally like rip some of the boxes into smaller pieces. I'm not sure if they can still be recycled once that's done, but hey, I have to do what I have to do. Anyways, I'm going to stop yapping, so you guys enjoy watching me clean the rest of the room. Yeah. <laughs> 
I've been so busy with the projects around the house and everywhere is just a mess. And now I need to prep the front room because I'm ready to buy my furniture. Here I am freaking out because I heard something drop. Upon my inspection, it was my favourite bars. I've been buying and buying and buying. So I have so many boxes that need to be recycled. And my recycling bins are full. So I had to literally like rip some of the boxes into smaller pieces. I'm not sure if they can still be recycled once that's done. But hey, I have to do what I have to do. Anyways, I'm going to stop yapping, so you guys enjoy watching me clean the rest of the room. everyone so a couple of weeks ago i posted a video on tiktok of me cleaning my bathroom and it got over 1 million views but with that came tons of hate so i thought i'd clean my bathroom again and go through some of the hate comments i said on the video that i'm 22 and my mom charges me 200 pound a month to live here and a lot of people were kicking off <laughs> inferring that that was child abuse i've got no idea how because i actually think 200 pound a month is really reasonable like i don't have to contribute towards any food any electricity any anything really a lot of people were saying it's just a western thing when parents charge you to live at home when you're over 18 so that must mean that other people in other countries must be so rich like they just get to keep the full-time wage and spend no money on rent which is honestly kind of a flex so i understand why they would comment and let everyone know that people were also asking if i had a full-time job and at the time of cleaning that room i didn't but now i do if you haven't seen the video of me crying on my tiktok i graduated last year in policing and i spent 60 grand on the degree i went to join the police this year and they rejected me because i stole lipstick from boots when i was 15 my fault entirely but i did waste 60 grand and an entire four years of my life but now i've got a job in community care and i'm much happier being out and about helping people even though the wage is so shit as you can see there i did also purchase the mold spray which everyone in the comments was telling me to purchase i do still need to get a new sponge that was quite embarrassing showing that again i also had some comments saying why do you still live at home at 22 and the people commenting this have clearly been living under a shelf for three years but i am genuinely trying my best to save as much money as i can so i can move out in january anyway here's the final result i swear this bathroom never looks any different but it definitely is clean i promise i don't know about you but i'm thinking it's time for a one hour midweek speed clean oh i'm joking i could have sworn i put that on last night oh, it's 
just betrayed me. My plans to start by unloading the dishwasher have been instantly derailed by it once again not turning on when I put it on before I went to bed. And now I'm feeling like a sim with an angry moodlet. At least the rest of my kitchen is clean because I did it at the same time that I thought I did the dishwasher. The socks just paired mid air, but I don't think you can tell it went too fast. Anyway, Crocs in sport mode. We are flying out the door to take the bins out. I was sprinting. This is my heart rate right now. Not one soul asked me to do this video format again, but I did it last Wednesday and I'm telling you. Who's that? Oh, can't a girl get an hour of uninterrupted cleaning? I was saying I did this last Wednesday and it made my whole week so much better. It literally only took an hour of my life and it made my weekend reset so much easier. So honestly, I think whiz around Wednesdays are going to be a thing until further notice. And I'm giving the bathroom some attention today because I didn't get time to do it last week. Oh, this mop, the Violeta 1-2 spray mop, great for quick and lazy cleaning. Washing my hands because I do feel like a walking ick after cleaning the bathroom and we are in the bedroom. Does anyone else have to make sure their fitted sheet is on as tight as possible daily? I cannot cope with it feeling even a little bit loose when I'm in bed. And I am finishing up in the bedroom we're actually going to get a new carpet in here soon so this is one of the last times you're going to be seeing hoover lines in this one but don't worry the new one will be even more hoover lineable okay i did cheat and put a wash on before i started but it says 11 minutes left so we should have the perfect time to put the washing out before the hour is up so dragging the air out in preparation although you've got to be joking me nine minutes has passed and it still says 11 minutes i am feeling lied to and betrayed today anyway i quite literally have nothing left to clean and the time's not even up so we're done are you finished now are you 